Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gabes here, back with some Hearthstone Arena. And today we're going to be playing Mage. Uh, Mage, generally considered the strongest uh, arena hero. And the reason for that is mostly that the Mage can deal with any sort of threat, whereas many other heroes have to decide what sort of threat they can counter. So Mage can deal with board clear, single target removal, a single target burn, in terms of damage, output, and the mage's hero power is by far the most powerful um, for arenas. So, with that said, let's get into the draft. First up, we have an incredible choice. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever seen a legendary pick as solid as this in arenas. All three of these are quite amazing, and you'd be fine picking any of them in a draft. Um, Generally, I would say Sylvan is maybe the worst. Uh, Karen is extremely powerful because it's just a lot of minion for the mana cost. Ysera is great for in-game. So I think I'll go with Karen as a more reliable minion that can be pretty much played in any game if I draw him at some point, whereas Ysera might be too late game. Okay. Deckhand is fairly weak, since I'll have no weapons. Uh, Berserker and Berserker are both pretty good for mage, since you can use your hero power to enrage them, or enrage this and increase the attack on this. So, um, I think I'll go Bur Gurubashi, since the Amani Berserker is not so great on turn two um, because it cannot kill a three drop without help. Crocolisk is weak. Grizzly is kind of weak. Archmage is also kind of weak. As a mage, I think I'll lean towards the Archmage as a spell damage source and an okay minion. Let's all Raiders weak, no weapons. So between Wargolem and Brewmaster, I'll go Wargolem for the late game. I'm not a fan of Brewmaster's stats. Farseer is pretty terrible. Storm and Knight is okay. Worgen is also okay. I think I'll go Worgen for the early game. Uh, Cone of Cold is pretty weak damage. Youthful Brewmaster is a good two. Spellbreaker is a good form of silence. So I think I'll lean on the Spellbreaker a little more than this, the Brewmaster. Okay, a uh, couple charge minions, two damage for two mana, three damage for three mana. I'll go with the Bluegill since I have no twos. Mm, these are all pretty weak. I think Cone of Cold beats out Arcane Explosion generally. So I'll go with that. Rager's terrible, Geomancer's weak, Fireball's great. Um, South Sea Captain is basically a 3-3 three, three for 3 if you need something desperately. Pyro is a pretty good finisher, but I'm going to go Sea Giant, as generally I like minions more than spells, and they're about the same strength. Elven Archer is weak, Grizzly, again, not very good. Sorcerer is great, or the Apprentice, rather. <laughs> eh, we're seeing a lot of these weird neutrals that aren't very good. I think Lord of the Arena beats out Grizzly, although I have quite a few late game minions. So I guess I have to go Grizzly, actually. Bomber is pretty good two drop. Ooh, Ogre's great on six, but I think Frostbolt's too good to pass up. Hmm. Pine size is okay on two since you can play a four drop the next turn if it survives, but I don't have that many fours right now. I think counter spell is actually better than assassin, and I don't quite want to go for summoner. It wouldn't be terrible, but 
I have three two drops already. Water elemental's amazing. These two are somewhat weak. Uh, I think Raptor over the bodyguard. Geomancer's subpar. Wow. So I can go bomber number two or brewmaster. Let's see if I have anything to brew back. Maybe a silence. And that's about it. Yeah, I think I'll try bomber. Okay, Frost Elemental over the Golem here. Azure Drake is amazing, one of the best rares, and I need fives desperately. Tiger over these crappy ones. Shattered Sun over Lepernome, and I don't need the Brewmaster. I think Twilight Drake beats out Wild Pyro. Let me double check my twos. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. With a Frostbolt. So Twilight Drake is great if I can play him on four. Some more weak cards. So Sat or Apprentice, rather, number two. Yeti is amazing. Flame Strike is a winning card. Uh, I think Farseer, but let me check my curve. And one, two, th and a half, three drops. So yeah, I need a three. Water Elemental again over the Cleric. And last pick. Oh, not last pick, actually. So Nightblade is pretty weak. So is Mirror because it can be played around. Crusader is great. Now last pick. Uh, Ancient Watcher needs a Silence. I only have one of them. I have no Taunt Givers. Arcanist is terrible with a lot of secrets, which I don't have very many of, just one. So I think Ancient Mage, even though I don't have that many spells, most likely to get value. All right, well, this deck is okay. Um, the fours are pretty good, which is kind of where it matters. My fives are okay. I don't have that many. My late game is mediocre. Well, I shouldn't say that. The Cairn is very strong. Sea Giant's very strong. These others are somewhat mediocre, but I am a mage. I would have preferred to have another fireball or two or another fireball and maybe a poly. I don't have that much removal. So I have one frostbolt, one fireball, one flame strike. For removal. And then Conum Cold is kind of a delay pseudo removal. But still, I don't think it's bad. Mages don't need quite as much late game as other heroes because the minions that would normally trade down can sort of trade up one mana level because their attack with the hero power can be equivalent to one more mana level in attack in most cases. So. Not having as much late game as a mage is not as big a deal. So I think this deck is good enough, especially if I get Cairn and maybe the Yeti, that kind of stuff pretty early. Um, I should be able to do all right. I'm going to say eight wins on this guy. If the game ever loads. All right, first game after getting connected again is a mage. So, water elemental strong enough worth keeping, I think, even without the coin. Hello. Yeah, pretty good fours. So yeah, the coin would be great here. In the light's name. Light Warden, huh? 
Well, it's worth bombering, but he'll probably use this in hero power. Oh, no, bomber got him. Wow. It's too bad. So, since I don't have any, anything to do on turn three, I'll ping this to threaten it. So either he trades or, in his mind, I kill it next turn with my hero power. Although with my hand, I doubt it will. Rifleman. Uh, it doesn't matter so much, so I'll go with Water Elemental. It's between this and Yeti, of course, and both of them kill the board, and they both get removed by a Fireball or Polly, so... Coining. Handle it. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Well, Cleric doesn't do much here. So I think I'll Berserker and trade. Technically the regular is slightly better than the wolf. But it's pretty minor with the board state as it was. So obviously the Berserker threatens his wolf and would get buffed off it. Jeez, he's got a lot of those attack buff minions. So I think the play is to tr or kill this and then freeze the other one. It's best use to my mana, or you know, a good use of it. Have to assume flame strikes coming up. So 
So I think Tiger. Ping that. Double. So again, he'll be obligated to use this to trade. I think cleric that assume it's mirror kill that and Drake we must cleanse the Sunwell not mirror So actually I lied now. If I Drake there, he'll flame strike to clear. But the Yeti will survive a flame strike. I have no way to prevent this from dying to a ping. What to do? What to Your do? Magic shall not I think Spellbreaker that. So we'll see if he plays the card he had in hand. Has to be assumed it's a flame strike until I'm proven otherwise. Nope, it can't be. Well, that's. Eh, it doesn't matter that much. Well, it kind of matters. He basically got a 4 3 for that card because he'll use this instead. Fire. All right. Well, he's now top decking. So Drake, Oregon Raptor, I think. Drake first. Uh, don't have any spells, so. So the secret is either Vaporize, Armor, Ice Barrier, Ice Block, Counterspell, or Spellbreaker. There's still a lot of possibilities. So I test for Vaporize first with the Raptor. It's ice Barrier, okay. I don't want this to get pinged, so I'm going to ping it myself and use the Drake to kill that. Um, and I'll play a big minion, but hold the rest. Well, let me think. Eight, 12, 16. Are you ready for this? Yeah. It's a pretty good draw. Um, 
really good draws. Used all his mana and still was able to kill us. Uh, that's a lot of... Holy shit. Look at how much spell damage I could have. Seven spell damage. <laughs> so let's see. That's 8, 12, 16. Yeah, I can, I can just kill him with a frostbolt. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> it's a good top deck, I guess. Ah, oh, one more damage. Up against another mage. Oh, there's good old Karen. Tempting to keep him, but he's too expensive. Archmage is also expensive, or not expensive, but not very powerful early game. I'll keep those two though. It's okay. Ideally, I would have drawn another four instead of the bomber. Will tear you apart. So I don't want to coin a two since I have nothing to do on turn three right now. Okay, I'm gonna apprentice rather than bar. With the hopes I can get some value out of Bomber later. Since I don't need to play him for a while. Haha, <laughs> suck it. I guess I'll coin Yeti. It's a little bit risky, but... Primarily because I have no guarantee that I'm going to Spellbreaker next turn. But maybe I'll be able to ping and use hero power. Or you play it too, right? Yeah, it looks like yes. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Yeah, this is fine. It's tempting to fireball that, but it's not very efficient with my mana. And if I can get rid of it with what I have on the field, it's generally better. It's only worse if he cone of colds here, but yeah. Oh, okay. Targeted in the middle. I thought it was going to be cool. So Berserker is probably fine. Yep. It's so one for one, but my five cost took a six from him. Even though the freeze is worthless, this is best for mana and board control. So 
Jeez, he's got removals for days. One shot, one. Well, I could risk the bomber, but if it misses, I'm screwed. I think it's worth the risk. So yeah, it turned out fine. Now that's a much more ideal target for fireball. I think I play one more even though it's a two for one on flame strike because it threatens lethal. If only had another fireball. Drink with me, friend. Hmm. I could kind of cold that. No. I'll ping him rather than the bear because there's no point. He's going to use this to trade, of course. My eyes are open. And they're Polly. Holy crap. Bomber's fine. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Sometimes I forget things. Could have called that too. Plan to kill it next turn, but again, threaten lethal. Jesus Christ, how many removal cards has this guy played? This is insane. Ready, sir. That's great. I? 
Does he have another poly? <laughs> He's almost assuredly forced to attack in. So. The arms of the Earth Mother are upon us. All right, well, here we go. I mean, <laughs> as many good plays as I had, it's like even one-for-one -one trades from a mage perspective are still very powerful because they're so cheap, generally speaking. Um, and it's really difficult to get a good two-for-one advantage because your minion has to survive with at least two health, so it can't be finished with the hero power. So that's why mages are so difficult to deal with, even as a mage. 